Hi, I'm Mona, and this is Skindipity. This is a brand new YouTube channel for the mature beauty community. I'm 49, and I know that if there are others like you around my age, that you probably wonder what are the best products out there for your skin type in your age when we start to have these sagging, fine lines, droopiness, and there's so many products out there with so many claims that sometimes it's helpful to have somebody help us navigate those waters. So I buy the products, I purchase them, I try them on, and I review them to help you make better buying purchases with your beauty and skincare budget dollars. Okay, so today we are going to um, look at the Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. Many of you have already seen this. I had done a review on this, but it was a quick first impression. I am so loving this palette. And I think a lot of people um, weren't really impressed with the last couple of um, Naked palettes. And they probably wonder just how many times can Urban Decay do a Naked palette. This um, is probably gonna go down in history as one of my all time favorite palettes. There's something about it that is so regular, but yet extraordinary, if that makes any sense, probably not. So these are the colors, and I promise you that they look better in person than they do on camera. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six mattes. You have one, the white, that is really just a, um, it's kind of a pearly iridescent color that gives you a little pop without a lot of metallic pigment. And then you have one, two, three, four, five that are more metallic-y and shimmery. So really six and six, this is a pretty split up palette. And with the honey, you think you're gonna have more yellows, but really it's more of a gold look. And if I take these two out, you really have a lot of browns. This one is kind of an olivey, green, gold. You could cover these up and get a look right here. You could cover these up. and get a look. You could just do the middle. Four, one, two, three, four, and get a look. Ooh, Gabby. I'm back, I had to run out and uh, let my dogs in. Sorry about that. So let's, um, let's swatch these. So, um, it's gonna be hard for me. I should have got the colors ready. All right, this is um, this is flyby. I'm gonna do the first four. Which is flyby, sweet, swarm, and amber. Flyby, sweet, which this would be a really good blending color. Um, it's light, tan, um, good base color for your lid if you wanna do an all matte look. This is um, the third one is Swarm, which is um, almost a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of copper in it. This one, um, this one is a beautiful metallic. This is um, amber. I'm gonna put these. They didn't really swatch. Back under my arm. Okay, that's not really a good indicator. I should have put them. I like to put them actually on my face, like Wayne Goss does. But um, all right, let's take a look at the next four, which are. Keeper, Golden, Honey, and Queen. Let's put these. And look at this one, how pretty. OK, 
Okay, and then we have Hive, Drip, HBIC, and Sting. So, Hive, Drip, HBIC, which is really kind of a rose gold. And this is the darkest, most pigmented color was the darkest, the deepest shade in the palette, which is Sting. And it makes a good contrast against these other colors. Okay, so I'm um, not a makeup artist by any means. I am just your everyday woman who loves makeup. Um, so you're not gonna learn too many tips and tricks as far as application with me, but you are gonna get a good look at these colors. So one thing that I will tell you is that um, they put a brush inside of this palette and we're going to see where I put it. Um, and it is an awesome brush. It is, um, you can actually get a whole look from this one brush. Here it is. It's got a fluffy brush. No, that's not it. All right, here we go. So this is the brush that comes inside of the palette. I think that this is... <laughs> So this is $49 for this palette, plus you get this brush. And this is a really nice brush. Okay, so I am going to go into the crease with Swarm. These are very pigmented colors. They're very easy to blend. There are a couple that maybe I'd build up a little bit more. But this is, this is really a versatile palette despite the fact that it really has shades that are, are in a similar family. It's great for an ombre effect. The shades um, bleed into one another, blend into each other very well. Do the same thing on the other side. I think I could, I travel for work. I could take this palette with me to work on a trip. I could get a few looks out of it. I could do an all matte look. We could go out to dinner and I could add a little pop of one of those metallic colors. I think the rose gold is really pretty, even for a prof professional environment. Okay. Just gonna soften the edges a little bit. So I don't have any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm gonna go into deepen that color up a little bit. I'm gonna go into the color drip, which is on this side. Just a little bit of a darker shade of brown. right now I'm only using the brush that came with the palette. Blending really good. Nice pigment. Not a lot of fallout. Okay, so now I know 
everybody probably wants to see the honey and the golden colors. I kind of wanted to use the HBIC and do a rose gold look, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use the honey and golden. So I'm going to take um, this smaller side and I'm going to use it for packing some of the sting, which is the darkest color in here into my outer V. Once again, this is not for the purposes of teaching you how to apply your eyeshadow. Many of you can do it much better than I can. However, it is to give you an idea of how pretty these colors look on and help you make a purchase decision on if this would be something that you would like in your beauty kit. So now I'm going to wipe that off in my color switch wheel. And I'm going to go into the color golden, which is right here. I'm going to pack that in the middle. And because it is blending into the brown, it really does not come across as too dramatic while being very beautiful. I'm going to take my finger and give it a little more intensity. Look at that. I just think this is stunning. Okay. I am going to take color fly by I'm gonna give a little pop under my brow also use that color go in here now on top of this I'm going to take the yellowest color in the palette honey and I'm going to apply that to the very inner corner I'm just kind of packing that in. I'm going right on top of the flyby. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to take this skinny portion and I'm going to go into the color stain straight up and down and pounce just the line of that bottom. Do the same thing on the other side. And I'm gonna do it on the top lid just to kind of bring it together. It's close to my last line. Now I'm going to take a um, large fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this just so that I don't have any harsh lines or edges. And I'm using this color Sweet to do that. Okay, I added some mascara, and I have to say, I really like the look. What do you guys think? I think it's very, very um, stunning. And I think just looking at the palette, you'd never know quite how beautiful it was. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, diving in deep to the Naked Honey palette. If you do, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll do a couple of other looks. Um, one with the all mattes and one with that uh, rose-colored HBIC shade that I love so much. See you in my next video.